All right, this is notes for 11 2. Notes for 11 2. You're going to need 11 2 and 11 3 notes to fully complete part two of your project. Um, but the part two is only like six problems long, so that's no big deal. All right, this is super easy stuff. Just most of it is review from what you've done over the last unit, okay? Uh, especially at the beginning right here. So let's get on it. All right, it says log base seven X uh, equals two. We can convert this to exponential by keeping the base the base. The base is seven, so it will be the base of my exponent. So it'll be seven to the second power equals X. Now we can solve for x. x equals what? 7 squared? 49. 49. Too easy. Okay. Next one. Number 2. What's the base? x. So it's x to the 3 half power equals 27. In order to get rid of 3 halves, I can always get rid of a fraction by multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm raising it to the two-thirds power. So I gotta do the same thing to the other side. They cross out. So x equals 27 raised to the two-thirds power. And you said nine? Yes, nine. It is nine. Okay. Number three. Bases x to the zero power equals two. We have a problem. What is anything to the zero power? Zero. 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 Uh, oh no. Nine. So it cannot equal two. So this one is no solution. Why is it? Okay. Next one, we have 2 to the x power equals 64. Someone wants to know 2 to what power is 64? Any guesses? 3. 3, you said? You said 8. So let's try 2 raised to the 8 power. Nope. That's 256. Too big. 2 raised to the 4th four. is 16. Too little. 2 raised to the 6. 64. Money. So x equals 6. Okay, flip it. Number 5. Too easy. Base is 2 raised to the 4th power equals x minus 9. What is 2 to the 4th power? We already did that. 16. Equals x minus 9. Solving for x. What do I do? I add 9 to both sides. So I'll move that 9 across and it becomes a plus 9. So x equals 16 plus 9 is? 25. 25. All right. Next one. I see 15 hanging out by himself. He's a regular number. So uh, I'm going to move that across. So once I move 15 across, it becomes a negative 15. Okay. So I got 2 log base 2x equals 10. Okay. Now we could say this 2 is in the front, so it becomes the exponent of the x, and then we could convert it, but that would be way too much work, especially when anything multiplied by a number, I can get rid of it by doing what? Dividing. dividing. So if I divide by 2, I don't have to worry about x squared. Log base 2 x equals 5. So that would be 2 to the 5th power equals x. And we throw that in our calculator. 2 raised to the 5th. 32. 32 it is. 32. Easy. Okay. Now this guy here, we got logs on, on both sides. Can't have that. No, 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 no. Got to move it. So I'll move the logs over to where they're on the same side as each other. Move the regular number back over here. Okay, so I want the logs by so isolating the logs. So I've got log base 8, 4. 
That was a minus log, so now I take plus log base 8x equals, that was a minus 2, went across, now plus 2. What did plus mean if I want to condense these? If I want to bring these two together and make it one log base 8. Multiply. So 4 times x is 4x equals 2. Now we do what we just did above. My base is 8 raised to the second power equals 4x. 8 squared is 64 equals 4x. Solving for x, I divide by 4. And you said it was what? 16. It's 16. So, so easy. Okay, last one. Take my negative 2 across, take my log over here. So I have 2 log base 4, 8 minus 2 log base 4, x equals a positive 2. Okay, I can divide them all, right? Okay, now you can still make these the, the exponents if you really wanted to, but that's just extra work. When everything can be divided by 2, so this would be log base 4, 8 minus log base 4, x equals 1. What does minus mean when I condense? Uh, you divide. Divide. So this will be log base 4, 8 over x equals 1. Okay. What do you do? Wait. Now we can convert. What's up? Sorry, I don't know how to convert. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So my base is 4 raised to the 1 power equals 8 over x, okay? 4 to 1 power is 4, right? So I multiply to get rid of a denominator. How do I get rid of a denominator? Multiply. multiply. So multiply by x. They cancel off. So that leaves me x times 4 is 4x. I'm going to put it over here. Equals 8. So then I divide by 4. x would equal 2. two. Okay. <laughs> but it was easy, right? Yeah. So on that one, A11-2, you're going to do numbers. I won't give you too many since we're going to do two of them at once. 11 Let's do number... Let's do number 1, 4, 7... One four seven. I think we're good. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. And. Fifteen. Yeah, so Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen. Fitting. All right. So that is one four seven eleven fifteen. One four seven eleven fitting. Okay, that concludes notes for 11-2.